of them on there. Quite a few fish on that little pond. This is gonna be, uh, this one's not gonna be as big as that other one. Come on, go with Little mangers, on let people see that. Little mangers, he made the cut. Love in the water all the way up there. Bottom up there. You see Love Mint's line right there. Come on, there you go, turn it up. Got it. Image tackle black diamond, and you see that. I just got out here. Line. See him turn it? Got him. Yeah, that's my little camera work. It ain't going the way I'm playing it, but... Let's go get them! Absolutely gorgeous sunset over there. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can't get on a few crappie real quick before the sun go down. How about that? Let's do it. Get up here to them, y'all. I didn't think I was that far away. See if I can get on a few before I uh, have to go to my night mode. Here we go on a late evening trip where I'm going to show you guys just how finicky some of these crappie can be and how close sometimes you have to get your jig to these fish and even sometimes having to touch them. Y'all be sure that you hit that thumbs up and uh, be sure that you're subscribed and even share this video out with your, your good buds as it's going to have some really good info and some really good, good footage. Just like back in the day with the old side imaging units, uh, what you can do to help di get you dialed in on uh, with live scope is is get on a piece of structure that got a few fish on it and and tinker with it. You know, adjust your settings, uh, mess with your game. You can even change different color palettes like I'm doing here. It'll really help you get it dialed in. Let me whip out an old rod real quick. I see a few dying now, so I'm gonna uh, be using my 10 foot rods today. It'll put my target range about six to seven foot. You see that jig falling down there right beneath that six and seven foot. All right, let's see if I can get them lit back up. There's one right there on the top, look like. Get my jig over here. See it coming and coming up to them. He hit it. Barely hit it. We don't want him to barely hit it. We want him to hit it. We want him to knock fire from it. I'm using a 132nd ounce jig head, so it shouldn't take very much to uh, allow them to suck it in. You know, they use a vacuum. Little bitty guy took over. All right. Let's see if I can get that blob to hit react while he's uh, suspended. He usually won't, but we're gonna check it. Man, they're so like they don't want nothing to do with it. They're interested, but here's a couple more over here. Small fish, though. I don't want nothing to do with it. Back up to this other little pile. Well, one fish looked like it was a pretty decent little fish. Now we're rocking and rolling out here. Wind, wind's been up quite a bit today.
some small ones on top right there. Little bitty dude, I don't want him. And he got my bait. Let my bait go. More little ones. So I wanted to get out here earlier than uh, what I did. Because I wanted to see if I can keep track of these fish just to see their movement. When they transition to nighttime. Joker, yeah, like he's going to run from the bait. One more try. There you go, turn it. Got him. Oh yeah, nice little keeper. Nice little keeper. Nice little keeper. Oh yeah, we're gonna let him go though. Nice little ten and a half maybe. Nice and, oh yeah. Finally got one to bite. Can't believe it. Tell you what, y'all, I'm 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 loving coming out here on my little dinghy. That big old catfish down here. See him right there? So I'm I'm rocking and rolling a little bit, so my readings are not as good as they could be. Lake is still uh, chopped up pretty good. There's some big old catfish right here too down there at the bottom. This right here is a crappie though. I'm gonna try to try to get on top of his head before I pass him up. I may have to stop us. May have to stop. Strip out a little line. See him turning? Got him. Oh yeah, that's a little better one there. We might put a few in the box tonight, y'all. Y'all know I uh, I eat fish several times a week. And uh, y'all know uh, y'all know I keep uh, I gotta excuse my little camera, <laughs> my little camera work. It ain't going the way I'm playing it, but hey, that's that's a box fish right there, 11 and a half, 12 inches right there, y'all. Oh yeah. Let's have them go in the box. He's on ice. Let's see what else we can find. Another big old catfish hanging down there at the bottom. And as y'all can see, the thermocline is nowhere near as bad as what I've been dealing with at night time it's just uh it, it travels at night it comes up it comes up a lot there's a couple more right here on top of this pile one thing about live scoping that i found is is uh you really got to pay attention when you especially when you pan that's a really good fish right there y'all i'm gonna catch a good one that's a good one right there all right see my bait coming down right there get it stopped Right on top of his head. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go getting all spooky on me now. Come on. There you go. Turn it up. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a solid one right there, y'all. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, uh, I'm using a Lemons Tackle Black Diamond. Lemons tackle black diamond, and you see that I just got out here. Sun just now went beneath the, the horizon over there. Bam! Oh yeah, real time, baby. And you can see my time on my unit. That's three and I don't know six minutes that I've been set up. Going on ice. He gonna make a nice dinner tomorrow.
ain't got none of them old uh, chemicals in them. And there's another one sitting over there on that little pile I got that one off of. Same little pile. Same little pile. See if we can drop down there and get a nudin. Alright, like a decent one right there. There's a few of them on there. Quite a few fish on that little pile. This is gonna be uh this one's not gonna be as big as that other one. Come on. Oh he just he just I know he ain't as big of a high aggressive he came in it. But he a good keeper. He a box fish. Solid box fish. Solid box fish, y'all. Oh yeah. Just old solid box fish. Oh yeah. You'll do. I'm gonna measure and make sure you live. Oh, oh. He say he wanna stay in the boat. He just gonna flip out of my hand like that. He wanna stay in the boat, y'all. Little Manchus, I don't know if you can see that. Little Manchus, he make the cut. Love him in the quarter all the way up there. Bottom lip there. That's the 11 inch line right there. I don't know why I keep saying it. I always want to show people that he's at least 11. All right. Let's see if we can get on another one. This is a 106 SV that I'm running. I got it on the amber color palette right now. I'm running the uh, LVS 34 transducer. And, uh, you know, usually, I always, usually always run that uh, orange crawfish. But for some reason, the uh, LVS 34 gives a, a lot hotter reading. There's another one right there on the top. See him right there, y'all? Jig right above him. See him standing up? Come on. Got, oh, he hit it. He hit it. <laughs> he hit it. He just tail grabbed it. He just tail grabbed it. That old black diamond from Lemmy's Tackle, I'm telling y'all, one and three quarter stinger gets the job done. It's been working really well for me here lately. Past couple, two or three months, actually. All right, Jig coming back down. Oh, he just barely sucked it in. I let him make it. I let that one make it. Super aggressive, though. I like that. I like that, y'all. Oh, yeah. He didn't even run off. I'm going to drop right back down there on top of his head. See if I can light him up a little better. Oh, back is up. There's a good, a gooder fish over there behind him. See right there? He up under the boat. I got to back us up. See if we can get entice him to bite. So I got waves hitting me from the front of my boat, and I got wind hitting me from the back of my boat. What sense does that make, y'all? Super crazy. But hey, it's the conditions right now. It's just uh, what it is, you know? And it, it just helps you improve your boat control. Don't mess with my split shot, little fish. Going for the one right there. Oh, come on now. That's a 32nd ounce jig head, and you can't suck it in? Really? You just want to tail nip it? Do I need to cut my tail off? I'm going to try him again. See if I can drop right back down there on him. And I'm choked up on my rod right now, y'all. Keep that bait right above him. There you go. Yeah, he ain't, he's not aggressive. Let's see if we can get on a different one. Let's get on a different one. Got him. Oh yeah. Another 11, 11 and a half, maybe 12. Oh, wait a minute now. Don't you get out of here. I don't know what happened there, y'all. I just retied my lines last night. 
And this little joker, he ain't big enough. Somehow my jig, oh, I got my jig right here. Something happened with my line, y'all. Let me check and make sure he's 11. I think he's gonna make it. He's about the same as that, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's right there, right there on it, just like that other one. Get y'all swung around. I'm losing light, y'all. We're gonna be on that night shift after a while. We'll be on that night shift, oh yeah. Here we go. All right, we're retied. I'm getting my camera situated. Let's see what else is on that little lay down down there. Yeah, but like I was saying, uh, the 34 don't do the orange crawfish any justice. So I've been playing around with uh, orange crawfish and I mean not orange crawfish, but uh, amber and moss. And the moss is definitely better at nighttime. That's maybe a white bass right there, fast as he was moving. There's a crappie right here. Get my jig over there in the cone. And he's gonna turn away. That's a really good fish. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put it in his face and just leave it. See what he do with that. Get him lit up. We'll have to back us up a little bit. And a lot of times if I have them, look at this joker right here. He's just sitting there looking at it. That's a smaller fish, but I'm going to try this one. A lot of times if you just leave that jig in their face, It'll agitate them into biting it. Little bitty dude come up there and hit it. I don't want you. I want that, that bad boy right there. Yeah, I'm bobbing and weaving. I, I want to hold my jig still, but I can't. The boat's up and down, y'all. Just had a boat pass me up, too. Just gonna keep it in his face and try to agitate him. A lot of times that works. When they want to be all finicky. I'm going to have to back us up. I'm in a really awkward position. Back us up a little bit. Almost to that night time, y'all. He's sinking down farther. All right, a little bit more, and we gonna we gonna go to the next fish. Let's go to the next fish right now. How about that? I don't wanna waste no bunch of time with him. He don't wanna act right. There's something right here. Just a turn of a troll. I wish it was that easy at night. Them jokers go in a cave or something at night. I I wanna find that cave. I wanna find their cave for when they where they go at night. It's just gonna be a little short video. Uh, I hadn't, I hadn't did a video, and I can't tell you how long. But uh, should be able to edit this one. It's a little short vid. I'm on his tail, but I'm trying to draw it to me. Hadn't got a reaction yet. He is really close to that little stump. He reacted to it. Tell you what, sometimes you have to twist and turn to to uh, get that jig in that cone. 
it makes it kind of difficult. We're gonna go to a different one. He he would eat, but he's in a in a spot in an area in a little little stick up so tight to that stick up that it makes it hard to present your bait to him. Especially with me all over the place in these waves. Let's go to another little spot real quick. Man, look at this skyline, y'all. Let me show y'all the skyline. Look at that, would you? Look at that radius over there. Absolutely gorgeous. That would be a nice little uh, thumbnail. We got the clouds on the horizon over there. We ain't been bringing no rain, but we've been having a few clouds. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just absolutely beautiful. You gotta raise your head up every now and again when you got these units out here. Uh, let me lower my backlight a little bit. Getting a little dark, I don't wanna blind y'all. Let's see if we can find another one. This is going to be a stump that comes really high in the water column. I think. Yeah, yeah. This one's going to be pretty shallow. Back to my live scope. They've been tending to hanging over a little deeper water. We're going to inspect it. See what it shows. We're going to see what it shows. I'm not seeing much may not be on that it's kind of these are shallow piles right here they usually always hold fish but here lately they've been hanging in a little deeper water in eight and nine foot of water and these this structure here comes up to about four foot under the surface it's like get down about another foot or so tell you what you better be careful coming out here with some of these stumps and that that stump is right where a lot of people uh where a lot of people come through here, travel through here. You know, Lake Houston can be a dangerous lake, man. I mean, it's just, uh, you got to be careful out here. Check this one out, see if it got any fish on it. Yeah, I see some in there, but they, they stuck in it. Look like right they're stuck in it. Oh yeah, there's a really good fish right there. Let me get us slowed down. Let me get us slowed down. He's in it though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my jig in there. I can barely see him it from this angle. Is that him right there? Can't really tell. Angles mean everything with this live scope, I promise you. It means absolutely everything. Those fish get, get hit behind a limb or a stump or... Not sure if those are crappie way up there at the top or not. I think they are. We're gonna check them. It ain't gonna hurt me to check them. Drop down there on them. A little bit come of water over here. Oh yeah, that's some crappie wood in the bed. To get us backed up though. There he is. Yeah, he go, as the old timers would say. Come on, get it. There you go. He went hit it to the very top of the water. Oh yeah. That's a nice one right there, y'all. Oh yeah. Good old Gooden. They get this hook out of his face and I'm going to show him to y'all. That's what I wish they would do all the time. 
just come and get it like they want it. Get my camera turned. Can't get my camera smooth, y'all. Need to put some oil on it, I guess. That's just old good one right there. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. 12 inch, 12 and a half inch fish right there all day long. Maybe pushing 13. He going eyes. We looking like we got dinner already. Looking like we look, we got dinner already. We got suspended fish over there. He ain't no big one, but he'll suspended fish. Right there. He may be a keeper. We're gonna let him make it today though. See if I can get back on this brush pile. When nighttime comes, that's what I've been finding is uh they've been they've been uh holding in, in open water a lot. I can't believe we drifted that much. Really? It was getting a little dark. I'm about losing my bearing out here. I knew we didn't go too far. Let's see if we got anything else up here. Can't go too far in that pile. That joker there is gnarly. I see one right there, almost up under the boat. He ain't no giant, but I bet you he'll keep. Get us backed up. Oh, oh, he's making a move. Where'd he go to? All right, there he is right there, right up top. Get this line, get this uh, jig in the cone. First, I gotta keep the. Uh oh, I hear them built mosquito buzzing in my ear, y'all. Hopefully, they don't be too bad tonight. And I still didn't put any any off in my boat or bring my thermosail. I guess that joker took off. I'm not even seeing him anymore. I think he's just buried in it. There's another one over there, a little bit farther out there. One there and one right here. Oh, he's taking off. That little one scared him. <laughs> Looked like that little one scared him. Yeah, I'm gonna get snagged up right here. I already know it. They're gonna make me get snagged up trying to get in there to him. I don't wanna get in there and get snagged up, y'all. Don't want to get snagged up. See if I can get in there to him. Come on, fish, turn around. He wouldn't clear the brush pile. He came up to the very top of it and stopped. Ain't that something? Hear those? Hear that doe blowing at me? You're like, what is he doing still out here? <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be still out here. All right, I'm swatting them mosquitoes, y'all. All right, it's time to go to a different brush pile. I don't know if they're gonna stay on brush piles, but they're on brush piles now. I, from my experience out here, they, they leave the brush piles once it get dark. It's just with my experience. But, like I always say, you gotta keep an open mind. Gotta keep an open mind. 
Them jokers will fool you in a heartbeat. Yeah, maybe one right there, but he's in. He's tucked in there. Maybe if we get to that joker, I don't know. We're going to see. It's the only one that I see. He's tucked in there, though. There's another one right here at the very bottom. Very base of it. He in it. Yeah, my angle has changed for that other one. I don't even see him anymore, the one that was farther up there. That's definitely a fish right there, but he's just up under a bunch of stuff. That may be that other one. That other one may have dropped down to the bottom, the one that was up up in the... Now, now I wouldn't bet that's him there. Yeah, there ain't no way of getting to that. We're gonna go to the next one. See what the next one got to hold. See what the next one got to hold. It's nighttime, y'all. Not seeing anything on that one. That look like some crappy right there, y'all. That may be a crappy. He ain't too deep in it. See if I can get my jig in the cone and get down there. I'm at the stop us though. We're going way too fast. And then that's going to change my angle. I got wind coming from behind me. So I know it's going to change the angle of my boat. May not be able to see him. Angles mean everything. Just like I say it. Alright, came up on this little piece right, this little joint right here. And uh seemed like every time I stop my boat they take them wanna take off. Let's try to get that joker right there in open water. It may be getting ready to leave the brush pile. I think that's definitely a crappie. See how he's standing there looking up? That's the way I've been finding them. You can actually really see that they're looking, sitting there looking up. Wish I had a little, little wind pushing me back, but I don't. He's swimming just a little bit. Couple little flicks of that tail. They're out of reach. He's definitely on the hunt. <sighs> Just barely nipped it, y'all. I'm talking about barely nipped it. He just barely nipped it. All right. Let's see if we can find another one. That one's down there way deep. I don't know if that's going to be a crappie or not. Now catfish look at that tail back there you can see his tail back there so you can see the tail you can see it then you can't see it. you can see it you can't see it definitely a, a, a catfish all right y'all uh, those of you that don't know we uh we be going live i've been going live tonight we'll have steve and maybe lbg on too but i'm gonna start going live a lot out here on the lake at night just to beat the heat and uh Y'all be sure to come and join the lives. Uh, if, if you have any questions, I, I try to answer the questions that I can. I don't know it all, but uh, if I can help help somebody, I'm good with it. Come on, fish. So my boat's turning, so I'm having to turn my troll motor to keep up with this fish.
Yeah, he's running. He's like, yeah, I don't want nothing to do with that. You don't want nothing to do with that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to get one more in the boat for y'all, and I'm gonna get get ready for my life. Caught some decent fish for y'all tonight. Wish I had a, a break for this boat. I'm gonna have to fix that up. Get me a, a troll mode on the back of this thing. It'll help me a, a lot, especially out here at nighttime. Yeah, they on the move now. They trying to get that belly filled up. But you know, and, and you know, this right here just goes to show, you know, a lot of people think you get live scope and you come out here and and uh, just decimate the population of crappie. You know, you can come out here and get on some really good fish at times, but you're gonna have to put some work in it. It's not just come out here and the fish jump in your boat. It's, it's just not like that. It is definitely not like that. All right, where'd they go to? The bugs are popping me in my face. That may be a crappie there. Let me get it stopped. Probably gonna blow them. They've been they've been pretty pretty spooky. That's why I didn't want to speed up a while ago. But there ain't no sense in being over water that there ain't no fish in. So I sped up, and just like that, that joker blew him out of there. Is that him right there? Don't look like a big fish. But a fish is better than no fish. I'm not in a tournament out here, so let me just slow troll real quick. See if I can find a good one to end the trip with. I say it goes slow. I'm not seeing anything, so I got to speed. I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to bump my forward out. That way it'll give me more time to stop. I don't know, y'all. These jokers may have went down on the bottom and posted up on the bottom down there. All right, y'all, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. That'll give me incentive to, to bring y'all more videos. And uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up also. Share the video with your buddies. Appreciate y'all for watching. Later.